Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Trailblazer League. We cast a blast spell. Now we're going to get around th this and we're going to we have a task to cast a blast spell. And we also have uh, our slayer task is to defeat the uh Tazar which I mean they're, they're pretty over leveled so I'm just going to start use the runes. But on today's episode, hopefully, my goal is to get to the next relic. It's going to be a huge upgrade in a lot of ways. So I've been saving up some clue points. Uh, first and foremost, it is going to be... I'm thinking about Treasure Seeker. Keep attacking, please. Um, I'm thinking about... Tre okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about Treasure Seeker. It's going to give us another, I think four times XP. So it'll go from eight to 12, I believe. So we're going to get a big XP boost, which is going to be awesome. And, uh, you know, the mini games goes up from five to eight, I believe. Uh, no, mini go mini games goes from three to five, I believe. So the, the fact that minigame points get boosted so much is huge. It's going to be absolutely huge for the account. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and, it you know, then, then we can just focus on getting tasks done. Because as soon as we get to the next relic after that, I believe that's going to be one of the hardest choices I have. I've still got to really think. I got to really, really think about it. Um, what do I value the most? And I believe it's probably clues because I'm not the biggest fan of doing clues. Uh, found out when you have infinite run, I don't really mind doing quests and clues as much because it's less of a struggle. But we're going to just keep blasting away at this, guys, and we'll see what other tasks and everything we can get done i'm kind of in an awkward phase where i've got a i've got to level up other stats beyond my uh, uh my chosen style if, if you're wondering uh chosen style is and maybe there's an argument to be made that i should just be using this regardless i was using magic because i needed to get the spell um cast anyway but i also have the benefit of well, not benefit, but the desire I need to cast High Alchemy as another task. So we're just going to keep leveling up the uh, magic. And it's dead. I actually ran out of casts before defeating it. That's hilarious. And increase my Slayer level, which is very cool. All right. We grinded up the stats a little bit, as you can see right there. Um, I just... Kill, just blasted these guys. I should bought a crap ton of runes to go through it. And we are going to cast High Alchemy on uh, the rune itself. High Alchemy, 40 points. Very, very nice. We have made it into the Elusive Cooks Guild, giving us 40 more points. We are 260 away from glory. What do you sell? To a man as fine as me, you sell, uh, I, I guess those are fine, boosts and red berry pies. All right. Jolly good show. Really not sure how long I've been sitting on this, but uh, studded chaps and body completed. All right. We're going to try this live. We need to kill six cows in... 10 seconds. I don't think that'll be much of an issue, but there's always a chance of just constantly rolling zeros. And I believe there was another one for craft a leather body, so I need some cowhide anyway. And the beef I can turn into sinew to make bow strings, so that'll be good. So there's, you know, there's, there's more reasons. There's also one for, like, kill chickens in a short amount of time. So we'll uh, go after that one. How many do I have to kill? Is Has it been 10 seconds? My bad. Maybe I'm just bad. 
Look at all these ticks I'm missing. I'm not killing six cows. Wait, it did say cow, right? Well. I guess I'll just... Oh, shoot. The, there we go. Um, I guess I'll just pick up my crap and leave. Um, there And then... Because I'm getting the resources anyway. I'm, I'm going to save my bones until I get the extra multiplier. Because them being twice as good as they currently are... Sorry, 50% as good as they currently are. Seems pretty good to me. Weird that I... Oh. Uh, weird that I can't kill the cows in time. But, you know, whatever. Alright, I believe there was one for kill chickens. So, I'm gonna go mess with this noob. I think it was kill three chickens in like six seconds or something like that. I'm just gonna keep killing chicks. There we go. Kill three chickens in six seconds. So, now I'm gonna leave this... He's not a noob. Are you a noob? You're a higher level than me! Are you a noob? <laughs> Non-noobs. All right, we got the needle, we got the thread, the needle, the thread. We need to make a hard leather body. And that is a task for 10 more points. All right, we're getting right to it. I decided to choose my first 95 as my task since this gets me enough to get the relic. And it also uh, boosted up my GP because I spent a ton of it. So I gained approximately 500k going up there um so huge money gains like this is crafting xp crafting xp smithing and crafting xp garbage and then some more runes to cast spells on but that means it's time to decide so I have to really think about this because it's 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 a tough decision so I'm gonna go through my mentality on it um, uh, I'll start with Infernal Gathering. Infernal Gathering does seem good. Uh, all, all of the tools are one tick faster. Sorry, uh, it's actually not true. Um, the axe and pickaxe are one tick faster. That's what 0.6 seconds is. Than their normal tool equivalent. The harpoon, which I believe can be used on any, um, fishing spot. So it's not only harpoon fishing. Let's see. Uh, the fish caught the triplet hooked, given regardless. Yeah. Um, any fish caught with it will be cooked, given regardless. This even works on fish that don't require the harpoon. So, yeah. So it's not like, oh, it only works on harpooning, which probably is going to be the best for sharks. But, so this is really, really good. And any ore mind will give me uh, XP. So this means, so any ore mind will smelt it into a bar. I no longer need coal. So it's very, very good for that. Because uh, for a rune bar, you need eight coal per. So this will save me a lot of time. The fishing, I don't really care about the fishing. It, it'll be good because I'll just karamb one and then those will get to a bazillion. Um, any logs chopped with the axe will be burned, granting fire making XP. Uh, that's the worst one. That's the worst one about it. Um, so it's really good. Bloodthirsty is your Slayer relic. Um, you're able to get a Slayer task, cancel it or whatever. And the master, uh, you can get, just talk to Slayer gem, get, get quest. Superiors are a one in 25. This is two times as likely. It's a one in 50 normally. Superior creatures will give Slayer points when killed. It depends on what the points are, if that's good or crap. Uh, Superior Slayer creatures now have double the rolls on the lesser creatures drop table. Meh. Um, this does not double the amount of rolls to the superior creatures. Unique table. The unique table is what you care about. And 25% chance there'll be a bigger version of the Slayer creature that has tripled the number of rolls on the lesser creatures. Don't care. Uh, plus a roll on its own unique. That is really good. Extend and I don't care about expeditions or slaughter, but who cares? Um, and then treasure seeker, 
uh, creatures that drop clue scrolls have a 1 in 15 chance to drop them. That means you're going to have a billion clue scrolls at the end. So you don't have to, like, pick what steps. Like, I tried to do uh, a medium step and I needed a team cape, which is, I believe, an ultra rare on easy. It's hard to get, so I just had to drop it. Clues and nests, meh. Uh, all clue scrolls have the lowest possible number of steps. So I'm going to take a look at this for a second. All right, I pulled it up on the wiki. It is uh, easy. I don't know what beginner is, so I don't care about that. I th oh, beginner's one, I believe, so you'll always get it uh, on the first one. So easy is two to four, so it's two. Medium is three to five, so it's always three, then four, then five, and then five. Master being five is huge. And that's not all. Um, uh, every clue casket will roll the maximum amount of items it can give. Um, it can roll the same item more than once. So you, you could get five ranger boots. Don't know what the odds of that are. Ridiculously low. Um, and there's a chance of opening a clue casket. You receive another casket of the same tier. It's more common to lower the casket tier. So you just get more and more and more. And we are taking the clues because... Honestly, having to do less of these is what I really like. I think the gathering one is extremely strong. It's not the one we're going for, though, because I can just mine and smith like gold. I don't have the blast furnace, so it's not as good. I think I can get goldsmithing gauntlets. Maybe I can't. But, and I don't care about cooking at the bank. It's, it's AFK time. I just put it on my phone, cook. And I have the, the relic the banknote. I'm going to take this right now while we're talking about it. Oh, get that animation. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The treasure. It's huge. Um, but so like right there, the, oh, I should have saved some of my caskets, whatever. Um, the banker's note. So I'm like, oh no, I need more. I need to use the diamonds. Boop. Here's all my diamonds and then close it up. So it'll make, smithing like really fast because there's no run back and forth at all that's huge though i'm really really happy we got that um and it's probably gonna be we go to the next area before we get to the next relic the next relic um i really need to think about this one it's gonna be really tough to think about it um, I guess I'll spoil right now. We'll talk about it a little bit. Equilibrium, I think is the worst. You get a little bit more XP. Uh, so every action you're doing, you get 10% of your total level. So that is a hundred more X XP. I'm already getting thousands of XP. Now it does every action. So it does add up a lot and maximum it's 200. Um, cause additional XP is not given by the relic. So it's not 200 times 16, it's just 200. Um, lowest skill receive a 20% boost instead, so it's 400. Uh, eh. And then also items are four times as common. So uh, that one, meh. Um, this farming is uh, zero times skill, I believe. It says farming patches grow instantly, so you click it, it farm, it done. So you just harvest. You plant, harvest, plant, harvest, plant, harvest. 20% chance to not need to use a seed or sapling when planting items. So 20% more seeds. Um, your plants never die because they grow literally immediately. So that's huge. And three times the items from it. So farming, immediate 500k. Or 500 mil. 50 mil. Sorry. The max point value. Immediate. Because you're it, it's busted. Um... And then harvesting patches at a rate of 25 times. So I guess his, oh, it also notes it right, right, right. If it didn't note it, you, this 25 times would be ridiculous. You just mass click, or I guess it just click and it goes. So this is really, really strong. And the ruinous prayer book is you get the, well, ruinous prayers, um, which are very strong, uh, this is a relic that you must... Uh, uh, yeah, so you get the book. You can switch back and forth. So a lot of people are like, no, you can't because you're going to take more damage. Um, well, if it's an area where you don't need a lot of damage, like I don't have rigor in my area. So 15% um, 
accuracy or well it's 15 ranging is the best i'm gonna get as opposed to 27 accuracy and 24 strength bonus that's that's better than augury as defense um Every single offensive prayer is 4% better than their respective tier. Do you have the respective tier? Like, I believe I have piety, but I don't have rigor or augury. So that's really what it comes down to. Uh, and then at the end, there's a 40% accuracy to all of them. Meh, I don't really care. But that's that's the, the, the thinking. This is very tough. I, I really want Ruinous Prayer Book. But what I was just thinking... Nothing is ridiculously hard for me to handle um, in my areas. I believe Nex is going to be like the biggest hitting boss. Uh, so I, I may actually not need Ruinous Prayer Book. I think if you're going raids, Ruinous Prayer Book is huge if you're not going with Chambers of Zarek. I think it's going to be absolutely huge. And then I guess I'll spoil, I'm taking Soul Stealer and Guardian next. Literally no option at all. I'll talk more about those when we get to them. It'll be a while. All right. Now that I've taken the clue relic, it's time to do some clues. We're going to start on this easy clue right here. We need to go to outside Verox bank and let's see if it just immediately goes to a one casket. All right. Clue location. We go up to it and it's a one casket. Well, okay, that didn't actually like define it as anything, but I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be uh one just one hit. Um I guess I'll I'll do the th three of them, because like that'll kinda tell I mean it, it should be it just on on the, the wiki it didn't say beginner caskets, so I'm really not actually sure about that. But I also, yeah, that's two of them that were a one banger. And then we have Wizard's Tower is D-I-S. All right, I almost walked away. <laughs> it's literally right here. I mean, there's just a little bit of walk-in. But it gives me my XP. And all oh, the 500 drops. I forgot that we got the extra XP bonus. It's so good. So I think I'm going to, as soon as I open it, I'm just going to pop open these clues. Kind of wish, maybe there is somewhere on the wiki, but I kind of wish there was a, an indicator as to uh, what we get in the casket. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that confirms it right there. I'm going to say that confirms it. Uh, I'm going to open this clue just to see if it's literally right here. Okay, it's in Falador. Um, we're going to open these chests in the bank. I'm going to have so many unique items. I think the the amount of clues I'm going to get is going to just absolutely skyrocket. It's going to be amazing. Um, probably should have went to the other bank, but whatever. I'm super excited. We're going to open these clues. And if I get a team cape, that'll be really good. So we got a steel full helm, which I believe is equip some steel armor. So that was a task immediately paying off immediately. And this is like the rare drop table. So I got cabbages, which is really bad. Uh, I got cabbages again, which is really, I got cabbages again. And there we go. So right there we open the casket, but it's still, oh, you know, it's still there. And then we got the sandwich lady hat again. Is there a steel weapon? No, if there was, I've already done it. Um, but yeah, so it, it's going to give us a lot of things. I'm going to pick up that steel full helm actually, and just put that in the bank. Um, why am I throwing nature runes on the ground? What am I, a madman? That's crazy. And I'll deposit my second hat. A little sag there, but we'll get back to it. And I, I will, I'll do as many of these easy clues as I can. And then we'll open them. All right. This is getting comical. Uh, so I'm not sure if this actually pops up. So let's pull it up. Okay, it does. So we're going to scoot this over. Um, I am looking for a steel war hammer because that's what my easy clue requires. I have to, the outfit I have to have is a 
I need a green robe top, which I got. I just bought it. Rome uh, ham robes, which I bought, and an iron war hammer. Oh no, am I stupid? I've been looking for a steel one this whole time. Well, the steel one's also in a clue step, I believe. Anyway, so even even if I'm an idiot, this is very comical. Um, one in fifteen, one in twenty something, one uh, like one in twenty something, one in one twenty something. Uh, worst case about all of this is I got XP. Like I, I've gotten a decent amount of XP. If you look, uh, I was pickpocketing there. 55 range and we're now at 57 so i've gotten a lot of xp but it's just so comical and in the attempt i got you know multiple uh, 50 defense very nice 63 combat when i hit 70 we can go on the better boat and get even more points for pest control which will be huge because i have to do a lot of pest control um but yeah i just wanted to show it oops i just wanted to show it because i thought it was funny <laughs> that I've I've been I've been struggling really bad to get it. But I don't really care now. We're done. Because I realized it's um iron warhammer. Not and I can just make that. So here's just a piece of advice if you're ever wondering uh if you take the clue step, stash units. Bit oh, I need a saw as well. Build all the stash units. So I may have found a bugged clue step. I'm not sure. Um, and by bugged, I mean like it, it isn't working properly. I need to get in here. And it says, talk to Shanty. Well, uh, Shanty is uh, here. I don't have access to here. So uh, maybe it, it uh, is it the pick locket? You simply cannot find a pick the lock from this side. So maybe if I have a pick lock, if anyone knows, leave a comment. It'd be very helpful. Um, oops. Uh, but for now, uh, goodbye. I don't care about it. Just going to ignore it. Come on, look at the step. Is. Switch crate in the room of the ice mountain. All right. We're going to open some clues. I got a me. I got... One medium, oh, I meant to open this one, whatever. And then I have uh, six easies and one medium. I think the steps might carry over. That might just be a league feature, because I think I did one step on this one and got it. And these aren't one steps, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. That's entirely possible, because I, I got a step right before this medium, I think, and I just dropped it, because I was like, I don't want to do Taibo on Ike right now. So, by the way, easy. We get... Uh, gnome fire lighters and Io Earth camp teleports. We can't use those yet, but those will be good for us later. And also black axe, which I don't think has any value. Uh, nothing. That's terrible. Uh, hey, look, it's terrible. Hey, look, it's terrible. Ooh, okay, 10 uniques. This is Lunar Isle, literally useless. I'm just going to put it in the spell book when I get an Azami page. One. Uh, fill e five easy clues. Excellent. I am going to be dumping a bunch of this stuff just in the bank because I need to go look through and see what clue steps are where. I was trim studded body. Oh. Well, okay then. That was a, that's a, that's a unique. I should put those in the unique tab. That way they're out of the way. Um, not that I really ever need those. We're going to keep opening. And this is... Nothing. Oh my god. Uh, black plate body heraldic. Heraldic black skirt. Trimmed. And a steel... Helm. Trimmed. Any of these matter? Uh, do I have a... Do I have full steel now? Steel. Nope. But that's really good. I mean, that was a, whew, was a hefty clue. And we'll open the medium casket. Gives us... Uh, Guthix's adamant helm is... Not bad. I think it was the, the Guthix page. 
and that's not a task. But yeah, so, uh, and it was so easy to get these. Like, you know, you just drop it and you're freaking zooming, which is insanely huge. That's all we got for this episode, though. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving the League. I get why people are so excited for Leagues, because this is freaking awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified of when the next video is going to come out. I don't know how often they're going to come out. I'm going to try to do, like, uh, I don't know, as often as I can with them. But thank you so very much for watching. Goodbye.